Hi everybody, Kurt here. I'm going to do something tonight that I haven't done in... I don't remember the, how long ago I did it. <laughs> I'm in my shed and I've got my permanent mount down here. Let me show you what I have. My pier. And so this is my Orion Cirrus mount. I've had it for years and years and years. And I've had it installed here for you know, since 19, uh, since 2016. And I eyeball pole or align it. I did the old fashioned way, basically with a polar scope. But I really haven't done it with a computer yet. So I, and I don't remember the last time I even checked it with the looking through it. So I, it's been years. So I've got my Rasa, not my Rasa, I've got my Edge with Hyperstar on it in here now. And this surprisingly is the same weight actually it's a little bit less weight than my astrotech 115 which i have sitting over here as i said the astrotech's on vacation so since i'm using the asi air pro i'm going to try the polar alignment routine on this setup to see how good my polar alignment's been for all these years so stay tuned for if it's clear this evening i'm going to try it out if it's not clear this evening i'll do it uh on another clear evening hopefully it'll work out and uh keep your fingers crossed we'll see you later okay folks well here goes i'm going to polar align this mount which hasn't been done and i don't know how long but let's see i've got everything operating on this scope and it's pointing north here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the polar alignment routine and start her up <laughs> I'm not even sure it's going to work. There's a lot of trees where I'm at in my location in the shed here, so I'm having my piddliastic doubts. Well, let's see how good my alignment's been. Wow! It's actually, well, I mean, it's not great, but it's, uh, uh, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Let's just put it that way. All right, now I'm going to take to, it's going to take me a while to align it because this mount is not nearly, not nearly as easy to move as my Atlas Pro. The Atlas Pro is a snap compared to this thing. So, let me see. Yeah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the levers on this this mount, uh, that's something to be concerned with if you're going to buy the Cirrus mount, or at least this version. This is like seven years old, so it's not nearly the, the, as easy to use as the Atlas Pro. Even though the Atlas Pro is way more heavier and larger, it's um, actually easy, quite a bit easier to use in this thing in some cases. It's actually better than it was when I first started, so it was like seven minutes, now it's down to three minutes. Unless I'm gonna make it worse. Hey, look at that. Well, that ain't bad. It's much better than it was. Should I try to make it a little bit better? I hate to do it, but I'm going to try to make a little bit better here. Either I made it a lot better, or I made it really worse. 
refresh. Oh, look at that. Woo! It has never been this good before. All right, well. Do, do, do. Yeah, like riding a bit slow, but uh, I'll take it. Okay. Well, thanks. Hi, folks. I figured I'd show you the adjustment knobs for this particular mount. As I stated before, this mount's very old. It's I've had it for seven years. It's been really good. And the design for this mount's probably older than that. How old, I don't know. But these are the adjustments for altitude right here. And they're, you know, they're... Yeah, Mickey Mouse. I don't know if they're Mickey Mouse, but they're not they're not, not strong enough to do with fully loaded. And this is the ones for azimuth. And even the manual itself recommends not doing it with the uh, with it fully loaded like you would want to do it nowadays. So this was designed for before pole master or sharp cap or any of those. Uh, people came up with all these ways of polar alignment, uh, refining polar alignment. Now, my Atlas Pro, which I'll, I'll I'll run this over real quickly, and I'll show you the the knobs on that. That's much better to uh, do the polar alignment. Okay, so here I'm with my Atlas Pro, which is a newer mount, and the altitude is adjusted by this thing, and this is much easier to do even fully load I can do a one-handed it's very durable it has sort of a screw right here that's bolted into the mount and then right down here is where it, it does the fine adjustments so this is this is really beefy uh, next to that uh, cirrus mount and here is the uh, azimuth directions and again the, the 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 screws on here are much much more bulky durable if you will so I don't know if the new Atlas or the new Cirrus mounts have any different design than the old ones. So that's something to think about when you're buying a mount. So, so that's all I have to say. I just wanted to show you what the Atlas Pro is like. And I don't know if this is, this, this mount is similar in a lot of ways to the Skywatcher EQ6 mount. This is the twin of that, if you will. And the Cirrus mounts the twin of the HEQ5. So I don't know if Skywatcher's design is the same as this. I think I don't think it is because I, I know Chuck was doing something with his EQ6 mount and he had a design on that that was similar to the Cirrus mount. And so I was surprised. I thought it would be more like this one. But anyways, that's something to think about when you're purchasing mounts. Um, that's all I have for you, folks. We'll see you next time.